Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Back at it again with another PC build. We recently passed 100K subs here on the channel. That's crazy. Thank you so much, guys. Just wow. But anyways, in the last build, I encourage you guys to leave comments as far as what would you guys like to see in the next build. I'm going to read some of your guys' comments. This build was inspired by your guys' comments. A build with i7 and GTX 1080 Ti. Those are the components we're going with. Do a $2,000 PC build, please. The budget of this PC is $2,000 and that's the most expensive PC we've ever done here on the channel so I guess that's a good way to celebrate 100k. Do a streaming PC build and I would love a gaming channel. This build is going to be one beefy build, a 1080 Ti and we got an i7 8700K. This is definitely going to be a great streaming PC. Thanks for the video, great as always. Would love to see a similar build with an i7 though. We're going with an i7. Please build a GTX 1080 Ti build around $1,000 or $1,500. Oof, that's um, I guess that is possible, but you would have to cheap out on a lot of components and then the system wouldn't be equally balanced. So that's why our budget's 2000. Yeah, more on that when I actually go over the parts. Core i7, 1080 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM. We are going with 16 gigs of RAM in this build. Can you do a 1080 Ti i7 8700 or 8700K build guide? Well, this is not going to be like a step-by-step -step build guide. I have done build guides in the past. Those are linked in the video description. And in the future, I definitely plan on doing more build guides. But yeah, this will not be a build guide. We're just going to go over the parts and then you guys are going to see how it performs. And of course, I'm going to build it here, but it's going to be a time lapse, not a guide. I'm glad you uploaded once again. Keep doing these PC builds. I'm also interested to see you do an extremely expensive one to see how it performs. It's your choice. Well, $2,000, I think that definitely classifies as an expensive PC. Can you do a $2,000 PC, please? Make a build with i7 and GTX 1080 Ti. Yup. Can you make a build with an i7 8700K plus GTX 1070 or 1080? We're going to go with the 1080 Ti for this one. But yeah, a lot of you guys wanted to see the 8700K, so that's why I chose it. Joey, make an i7 8700K and a GTX 1080 Ti build, please. Can you make a build? Wish you can get 250 FPS in Fortnite. And thanks, man, for making these vids. This build will definitely get you 250 FPS playing at 1080p resolution. I'm pretty sure of that because the 1080 Ti pushes a lot of frames. i7 8700K with a 1080 Ti. Can you please make a build using an ASUS ROG Maximus X formula? That's a motherboard. Um, We are balling out on this PC, but as far as the Maximus X formula, that's like a whole nother level of baller. I'm not quite there yet. Maybe in the future, we'll go with that motherboard. But the motherboard we did select for this build, it's part of the ASUS ROG line of motherboards. Now do 2100. I got you. Try expensive gaming PC. <laughs> okay guys, this build is gonna have a theme. You guys probably already guessed it. It's gonna be a Black Panther versus Deadpool theme. This is from the Civil War comic book. They're brawling it out. So how do we do things around here? Well, first, I'm gonna go over the parts, their prices, and why I picked them. Second, we're gonna be building this PC. It's gonna be a time lapse, like I mentioned. And third, we're actually gonna be playing these games in real time. I'm gonna be showing you guys. You guys know how we benchmark here on the channel. Okay, I think that covers our intro, so let's get the parts out. Okay, so let's just kick it off with our case. It was $80. We went with the NZXT S340 Elite. It has a tempered glass side panel for our storage. We went with a two terabyte Barracuda hard drive and a 128 gigabyte SSD. Our games are gonna be stored on the hard drive, our operating system and programs on the SSD. The hard drive was $60. The SSD was $43. So for our RAM, we went with a kit of 16 gigs, Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4, at 3000 megahertz, $175. The RAM prices are so much more pricier than they were back then. But yeah, if RAM prices ever do wanna go down, I wouldn't mind. Our power supply, we went with the EVJ 650 watt gold rated power supply. And it's a semi-modular power supply, which means all the cables are disconnected from the power supply itself, except the big 24 pin power cable. So if you ever see a power supply that says fully modular, that means all the cables are disconnected from the power supply. So why our modular power supply is cool? It's because like, you don't always use all the cables plugged into your power supply. So it's cool. You'll then be able to get rid of them and it'll be easier for you to cable manage inside your PC case. Okay, so for our motherboard, we want the ASUS ROG Strix Z370F gaming motherboard. It comes with a doorknob so your mother doesn't disturb you when you're playing Fortnite. It comes with stickers so you could um, rep Republic of Gamers. It comes with a CD that you're not gonna use because these are already outdated. So here's the ports that the motherboard has. It'll supply my needs. It has five USB ports. All right guys, so moving on to our CPU. 
brought to you guys by popular demand. We went with the i7 8700K. We bought it for $329. This is a six core, 12 thread CPU. It's clocked at 3.7 gigahertz and it has a max turbo of 4.7 gigahertz. We're definitely gonna be overclocking it. So as far as what we're gonna be cooling our CPU with, we went with an AIO. And guys, fun fact, I've never actually installed an AIO in a system before. I don't know why, I just never got around to it. In fact, this system back here, is also running an i7-8700K, but it has a heatsink on it. And yeah, AIOs are a little bit more of a hassle to install. So I went ahead and looked up a tutorial because I wanted to just know how to do it right out of the box. And I did, it's pretty simple actually. I don't know why I was avoiding it. Um, we paid $156 for it. It's the NZXT X62. All right, all right, what do we have? What do we have? This connects to the CPU, obviously. This feels really high quality. Um, I'm really admiring this AIO because like I said, I'm an AIO, I'm a little AIO scrub noob because I've never even touched one. But guys, check that out. That's pre-applied thermal paste. If you wanted to use your own thermal paste, then yeah, just feel free to just scrub that off with a kit and then apply your own thermal paste. But yeah, I'm just gonna be using this one. Okay, so what's left? I don't even need to pull out my phone anymore. I know how much this guy cost me. My God, guys, you know, the situation we're in, GPU prices, they still are inflated. $950, that's how much I paid for this guy. So how much was the original MSRP of a 1080 Ti? It was around $750, but yeah, prices are inflated. Oh my God. <coughs> Where did I buy this card? I got lucky if you can say that. I got it from EVGA's website directly from there and yeah, they're selling it at $950. Okay guys, so if you're looking to buy a GPU, if you wanna go used, you'll probably go to eBay. Be careful because a lot of people mine on a card and once they've been mining on it like 24 seven for a long period of time and you know, that really hurts its lifespan, they then wanna sell it on eBay and you're gonna buy a card that's like nearing the end of its lifespan. I know, that's not cool, is it? So when you buy a used card, I would really recommend you buy a card that hasn't been mined on 24 seven. So yeah, just do your research, be careful on that. We get a EVGA poster. This is a new one, I haven't seen this one before. EVGA stickers, your manual, advertisement to more EVGA products, disc that's already outdated, uh, this stuff. Make some room here. And we got the card itself. Okay, what do we have? These are adapters, power adapters. We're not gonna be needing those. I actually thought it was gonna be a bit more beefier. It's heavy, but I don't know. I just thought it was gonna be more beefier. All right, let's take this off. Come on. Got more wrapping right there. And you got some on top too, so this car is protected really well. Last, they put these little guards right here. This is gonna match our motherboard really well as far as our case. So it looks like the theme we got so far is like silver, blackish. Check this guy out. But yeah, he matches the graphics card, that's for sure. And the damage is $2,043. Just a little bit over our $2,000 budget. So everything right here equaled out to that, except our extras. What are our extras? These Funko Pops and this vinyl wrap. I'm gonna be using this to cover the SSD. This was $10, but we didn't count that because you don't need this. All right, guys, so let's build this thing. Thinking about old time. 
we're pretty much done. We did it. Yay. Time to put on the lid. Alright guys, so I just hopped into a game of CSGO. We're playing at 1440p. That's the resolution we're going to be testing out all games on. As far as why I chose to go with 1440p, well it's in the middle of 4K. That was so lucky. It's in the middle of 4K and 1080p. But anyways guys, what I was going to say is, I thought about 4K testing out the game in that resolution because this machine is capable of 4K. But the more popular resolutions that most people play on are still 1080p and then second to that 1440p I would say. My target when playing these games is we're playing at 1440p resolution and we're trying to get 144 FPS. Um, oh, so yeah. This system is way too overkill for CSGO, whether whatever resolution you play it on. So let's move on to the next game and I'll tell you guys some more. As far as what setting CSGO was running at, we're running it at maxed out settings. I'm gonna take this moment to tell you guys about the monitor we chose to use. This monitor is 144 Hertz and it also has G-Sync. And fun fact guys, I've never played on a G-Sync monitor. So this is very smooth to me, I love it. I'm gonna from now on play on the G-Sync monitor when it comes to competitive gaming and I'm gonna use this monitor because I just, fell in love with it oh my god i suck there you go so yeah for this system i would highly recommend this monitor and yep that's all i have to say about the monitor we chose to go with other options is get a 4k 60 hertz panel if you want to play your games in 4k or get a 1080p panel at 244 hertz because then this system will be capable of that this system is a beast i heard them oh someone got murdered right here that corner it's only one okay oh cap cap resume securing the container once the threat is neutralized got him man we're getting flanked yeah, we gotta push up Come on guys, we can go. Oh, enemy right there, I need to reload. Oh my god, heal up, heal up, heal up. Reloading! There's another guy right there. I can't, I gotta stop reloading. This thing has a lot of big old clip. Oh god. Heal up, bro. There you go. Uh-oh. Heal up, heal up. Dude, we have like no cover. Oh my god. Oh, I'm about to die. Yup. Alright guys, so now we're playing Fortnite pretty much at max out settings on the epic preset. I'm playing explosive squads. Oh, they're all over. <laughs> just kidding. You know what this weapon reminds me of? Reminds me of the Predator missile from Modern Warfare 2. Fun. Oh no, they're gonna shoot me. Gotta get out of here. Ah. No. Gotta get, I'm gonna take cover behind these trees. Oh snap! Oh, it almost got me. That fire went off. Oh I downed them. Might as well finish it off. As long as I get one person, I'll be happy. GG. Run! No! <laughs> Alright, next game. Whoa, sorry about that. Oh man. That's so good. Alright, let's 
guys got his helmet off now. So guys, we're playing on 1440p, max out settings, and this is the FPS we're getting. Pretty amazing if you ask me. I have G-Sync on, this is super smooth. I think I'll be able to land all headshots with minimal effort. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. I hit all the headshots and then I missed that one right in front of me. Got her. I don't think you know I'm here yet. And I got more health. Oh, I just missed everything. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Why are you late so soon? I got a good view up here for a high noon if they decide to come over here. Alright. Doing good. We're looking good. We got good formation. Okay. I want to at least get three of them with the high noon. Okay, I'm going to use my high noon right here, I think. Using our oh yes, I got three. That was beautiful. I have a bad habit of throwing the stuns when they're way too far away for it to even hit the person. Oh god. Oh, fortune player kill streak. Yeah. Whoa, calm down. One shot, get her, nice. All right, almost there. And that is a victory. Oh, and we have ourselves a party. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, several players, or should I say several victims. Twice. If I would hit her one more time, she would have died. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. Got him. Oh, he's on top. in here I hear a lot of movement oh the graphics look so good like look at this character model wow it looks photorealistic if you ask me what is that a real person or am I playing a video game that's how good the graphics are I right. <laughs>